everyone this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about who is falling in love with you or who is already in love with you so i'm going to be delivering all of the psychic and intuitive information that i'm going to get about your person and about your connection so we got three options again the first option is the sun card from the light seers tarot deck on the very left and then we have the sun card in the middle from the right away tarot deck and lastly we have the sun card on the very right from the game of thrones tarot deck um all the options are going to be listed below in the description box the timestamps are going to be there so you can definitely choose more than one option if more than one option is calling out to you and yeah so without further ado let's hop into the first option the sun card on the very left okay so if you're chosen the option number one these are the cards i have for you i have the moon card the two of coins the two of spares three of coins five of swords the star six of spares page of coins as the fool and lastly we have the devil card for you guys um so for the zodiac signs i'm sensing somebody could be a capricorn somebody could also be an aquarius and aries um and then we also have a leo somebody's moon sign specifically um is going to be in a fire sign that would be aries leo sagittarius and then we also have let's see Somebody could also be a Virgo and yeah, that's one that I'm sensing for the Zodiac signs. Now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to who is in love with you or who is falling in love with you. Let's see what do we have from our guides in regards to that. Okay, um, somebody's name starts with, um, okay, this is a different kind of name. It's like it starts with J, but it's pronounced differently. It's not like you don't spell the J, but somebody's name starts with J. That's okay. This is not like a typical name. This is a different kind of, it's like a, it's like a unique one. There you go. Um, yeah, somebody likes to wear gold jewelry or um, somebody has a lot of gold jewelry. I do see that um yeah somebody recently lost a lot of weight or someone is trying to get in shape okay that was that's like a that rhymed over there um and then we also have yeah definitely somebody's working out i do see that um okay This person, I feel something happened between you two. And now this person, I don't know what happened. But whoever this person is, they're really not able to handle their feelings for you that well. It's almost like this. If you meet this person on a, like regularly or if you talk to this person regularly or if you just interact with them somehow. I think you already know who this person is. Because they are not able to hide their feelings that well. They're just not doing a good job. I'm hearing that they're not doing a good job hiding their feelings or hiding um, because they're not able to. It's not their fault. Um, however, if this person is someone you're not in communication with, you do not interact with them that frequently um, and you guys haven't met recently, I would say that this person is having a hard time handling their feelings because something happened recently which triggered um which triggered a lot of things inside of them when it comes to you um when it comes to their feelings for you i think they just if i have to be honest if they were not like if they were just attracted to you and they didn't have feelings i feel like this person started to fall in love with you because of this trigger that happened recently and if they're already in love with you i feel like this trigger even intens intensified it a whole lot more if i have to be honest yeah, definitely. Somebody's gonna fly soon or somebody recently flew to a certain destination. Um, or probably just came back. I see a travel bag also. Really light uh, light colored travel bag. I do see that. Um Yeah. Um in the place that you traveled to, I feel like if there was something there was it's almost like this either you met someone over there or you 
interacted with your guides or your angels or somehow or you just got a lot of you just got some sort of a realization now this is for those of you who actually who actually did go on a trip um you got some sort of a realization so there you go and let's see this person is overthinking when it comes to you um yeah and it's almost like this if this person is um talking about you to someone that person this could be a friend of theirs this could be um i don't know somebody who's around them basically and this is someone who's close to this person the person that is in love with you or falling for you i feel like the other person is advising your person to actually be a little bit more like i don't know maybe a bit more chill like not worry so much but this person is like discarding all of the advice because they're not able to stay that way they're like okay i cannot i cannot handle this i'm but this person is advising your person to be like okay you should just kind of calm down like chill out but your person is not able to do that that's why i'm getting for a lot of you somebody has a lot of body hair a lot yeah a lot that's too much <laughs> and um let's see what else is coming over here somebody has a weird nickname i do see that um it's like your friends or um somebody around you but it's lo- it's not like a new thing this is something you have been either if you have this name if you have this nickname um they your friends your family call you i feel like this is an old thing it's not a new thing um yeah it's like but it kind of does not like i don't know i would just call it weird um yeah um let's see what else. somebody could be a capricorn over here as well this person is heavily attracted to you like yes they have feelings for you this person is falling in love with you however this person is so attracted to you i would be surprised like if like literally i wouldn't be surprised if this person would be fantasizing about you every single night before going to sleep and this attraction goes um really wild like um this person is sexually attracted to you and like everything about you is attractive and if there i'm even getting for some of you that if this person um like they get triggered by something the only thing that can come to their mind at that time is you somebody has a deeper skin tone somebody is also gaining weight okay we got the losing weight first and then now gaining weight but these are i feel two different people um this is not the same person somebody is losing weight but someone is gaining weight um okay that's uh, that's a good one um and then we also have somebody is buying a lot of things materialistic things for a lot of you it has to be like maybe you want to buy a house a car um it could also be um jewelry stuff like that um yeah someone also um likes to read or watch a certain kind of like i don't know they want to like somebody likes to watch a certain kind of show shows or sh- uh, like certain kind of movies um i'm getting it's like um maybe they really like dark stuff they really like things where there are supernatural elements or um maybe with vampires like there is a specific kind of thing that this person likes to read about or likes to watch um that's what i'm getting this for a very um or a very few of you okay um there is a mark on their hand it's not a mark actually it could be a mark for some people but you would see it see it in the palm of their hand if you ever get to see the palm of your person's hand there is a mark like we all have lines and stuff you know um but 
there is a specific kind of a mark which people don't usually have that kind of a mark you just know if you see this person's palm you just know what i'm talking about um that is there i don't know if it's due to injury of some sort or if it's just there it's been that way but i do see somebody okay this is probably an injury and i'm there telling me so for some of you this could be an injury um and i'm hearing the word stitches are they talking about the song i don't know um maybe the song has some message for you stitches um or yeah i don't know so listen to the song stitches i believe it's by uh it's by Sean Mendes or something i don't know yeah there you go and number seven is quite significant for you guys quite significant over here um let's see i feel like with this person although their feelings are so strong and their attraction towards you is literally unmatched when i say unmatched it's it's crazy with the devil card over there i'm not even joking this person acts like a fool when it comes to you um they don't care and they cannot actually handle it all of it like inside of themselves that's why they do it that way um however despite of all of this craziness going on this connection has been kind of slacking and it's not been moving at a pace which would be um expected of it to be so and that's that's because there are a lot of hurdles in between there are a lot of things and and in fact there's a specific time when the movement will start to take place before that things are just going to be resistant resisted i think that's the right word um from your end and from that person's end as well somebody could be a leo over here um yeah it's almost like this this person is trying their best to resist you um yeah definitely and although it may seem that nothing seems to progress nothing seems to move but things are ha are actually happening behind the scenes even if you see them or even if you not if you do not um yeah definitely there are things happening and um it's not like I know it's not visible it's not in front of you that's why it's kind of hard to even have hope um but i do see things happening that's that's for sure somebody's a scorpio over here somebody is i don't know who this is but maybe someone has um a, a, like a pet but it's not a conventional pet or something like it's not a dog or a cat it's a different kind of or maybe you want to have that or this person does but that's why now for some of you this is the message that i got whilst i was shuffling so this is for a very few of you but for some of you there's actually more than one uh person who is falling in love with you or who already has deep deep feelings for you now again going to say um this is for a very few of you um could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius or could be a water sign scorpio cancer pisces i feel like this person is um let's talk about the first person first um the person who has water signs let's talk about them first so i feel like this person this could be an ex this could be someone who you, who you have a little bit of history with you know this person well um and i feel like this person is someone who is kind of like they're aware of how things will be if they do approach you they're kind of aware you know they don't know everything but they kind of do know because they know you and they know what happened in the past and judging by that they're kind of assuming this is how things are going to be and stuff like that for some of you this is a pisces um or you have interacted with a pisces before um so if that's the case then this person is somewhat aware but they're not fully aware um this person is not able to take any action they're kind of stuck in their thinking because they're thinking of the right and wrong they're saying so i don't know what right and wrong is maybe this person did something wrong in the past and now they're not able to come up to you and express whatever they want to say or do to you um i feel like that's what i'm getting 
um and for those of you who do not have a history with this person i feel like this person is not able to like come up to you because um i feel like that you have a history with this person if you don't then probably this person this is not a message um yeah the, another thing this person could even be scared of their own heartbreak um another thing that i'm getting for the for the other person now this is the one who you do not have a history with this is the one who um who's actually oblivious and they're blinded by everything more so their own thinking they they are the perfect is example of getting in their own way so they are getting in their own way of approaching you things are kind of fine for this person like this person can come and say whatever they want to say but the fact that this person is stuck and it's taking such a long time for them to act on whatever they're feeling is because of the fact that this person is fear stricken they're um they're in doubt they feel like they cannot take any action like it's just not right i don't know why this person feels that they do not have any um uh, way or like they're actually stuck because they're not they're not stuck but they're just stuck in their thinking so whoever this person is i feel like they're stuck in their thinking and that's why they are this could be someone you do not have a history with this could be someone who does not know you well they probably have seen you they've probably interacted with you but not so much like they're not that close to you um that's what i would say um and definitely these people um i feel like they're working they're kind of trying to stay busy or if it's just one person then this person is working they're trying to stay busy but this person is not like yeah they're not doing a good job of handling themselves um yeah that's what i'm getting so we're going to finish off this part right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also um subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me then you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you're chosen the option number second these are the cards i have for you i have the seven of swords the devil nine of swords ten of swords strength seven of cups two of swords two of cups three of swords and lastly we have the seven of coins for you guys so um let's talk about the zodiac signs first i'm getting gemini somebody's son is going to be in a gemini or somebody's son is going to be in leo or somebody's going to be a leo um and then we also have somebody's moon sign is going to be in a water sign score because of pisces um and we also have let's see somebody could also be a water sign score be a fan of pisces like regardless of the fact that it's a moon sign or not so that's why i'm getting for the zodiac signs and now let's see what do we have for the messages now um before i dive into what my guides are telling me let me just tell you that i actually only got i got so many sword cards for you guys like there's so many swords over here we only have one card actually two which are about cups we have the seven of cups and then we have the two of cups and then lastly we have only one card which is the coins which is the seven of coins over there like the last one um and that tells me that everything in your situation is actually happening in the head it's not in the physical world it's not happening in front of you it's not materializing if there is someone who has feelings for you there's a huge possibility like without even going into the cards and looking at them i can tell that there's a huge possibility that nothing has really progressed or everything is on a standstill maybe something happened but not too much and everything is kind of on a standstill they're waiting you're waiting but nothing seems to move nothing seems to happen and it's like all the wars and all the conflict is going on inside the mind so now let's see now let's dive into the messages that was something i just needed to say um okay so we were just talking about movement and now we have movement over here so definitely whatever is there on 
this person's mind whoever has feelings for you um this person could be a scorpio this person is going to be a fire sign a fire sign yeah definitely aries leo sagittarius that's what i'm getting so whoever this person is i feel like they have this um i don't know why i'm a i'm hearing the word maniac so maybe this person gets really crazy when things do not go their way maybe this person is a bit of a control freak yeah there you go this person is a bit of a control freak and the situation is not going their way at all the way they want things to be the way they want you to interact with them i feel like that's not happening and that's why this person is um this person is like all over the place they don't know how to be sane at this time and yeah i feel like this person is just kind of going crazy um so i feel like this person will take some action that's why i'm getting they will take some action they will come it's not going to be that big they might just drop a high or something and they might text you um but i feel like it's going to be a small thing and um yeah but there's going to be something from the person's end that's what i'm getting the fact that this person is so slow and the fact that this person is like they're not they have not take like taken any action and they're like um the whole situation is kind of at pause is because of the fact that this person is confused because we got the two of swords over here next to the seven of cups this is confusion at its peak this is doubt and worry at its peak so this person is really confused about um what to do and like how to go about the situation and they really are not aware of how things are going to be if they do um like if they do approach you and if they go do whatever is like if they do and say whatever is on their mind they're just not aware of how things are going to be so this person is really confused when it comes to that that's why this person is being such a um i'm hearing sloth but this person is moving really slow so there you go um yeah definitely this person feels that you have the key to their heart um this person might like to sing i feel like this person is a, a bit of um they're an extrovert they're an extrovert i'm sensing whoever this person is but only with some people they're not an extrovert with everyone they meet they don't show this side of them to everyone they meet um especially not with strangers definitely um but this person has this maybe you also have not seen this side of them but with their really close friends and with their probably family members or whoever they are really close with i feel like this person has a very extroverted a very fun side um which people don't really see this person yeah again i'm getting they ha- they feel that you have the key to their heart there's a high difference i see over here with me between you and this person um it's not too much but it's not too little as well um it's like yeah it is there so i do see that um and let's see what else okay and i feel like if this person you know what i'm getting that there is one specific person that they share everything with or who's like really close to them um this is a friend i'm getting specifically this is a friend this is not like a family member or something um this is a friend and this is someone who is just like them i don't know why am i hearing that um maybe this person like whoever their friend is is also kind of like them or they are like there is something similar about their friend to them like maybe they kind like i don't know maybe they have the same sort of energy or maybe their name is a bit similar or something something is really similar between this person and their friend and this friend knows about you this friend knows because they've told their friend about you and i feel like they both do talk about you that's why i'm getting number 6 is significant over here i do see that um yeah definitely um this person also has probably like if you guys have ever had a conversation about dating and relationships 
I feel like this person did slide in like once I'm getting like once they did slide in like almost how do I say indirectly that they do have feelings for you or like they do like you or something like this like they did slide in that okay that fact um not directly they did not say that directly indirectly like you know it was just like kind of brushed off but I feel like you did not take notice of that um or maybe you did but they thought that you did not take notice of it because then you would obviously respond in a certain way or take some um take some action or something that's what i'm getting this person right now and they're just kind of being hopeless if i be honest um some time ago they were hopeful they were hopeful about you and them but i don't know what's happening now they're not hopeful anymore they're kind of hopeless when it comes to you and this person so yeah um i was just talking about how hopeless this person is either they're this hopeless now or they're just gonna be they're gonna be hopeless in the upcoming like near future i do want to say um before this person was hopeful i don't know what happened now that this person is not but let's see what else do we have this person is someone who surely does want a future with you they're not messing around they're not like okay i just want a date and then like that's it no this person actually does see a future with you or should i say they do want a future with you more than see um because yeah obviously this person is not hopeful right now or in the upcoming weeks or something let's see what else okay this person probably comes off from a wealthy family um or they are focusing on their wealth as well i'm getting so the fact that they're focusing on their wealth or their um professional side of things does not mean that they're not focusing on you maybe some of you might be getting insecure that if this person is focusing on something and they're not really um like interacting with you or you're not getting their attention or something like that then they're not thinking about you or you're not on their mind let me just clear that out if you are someone who is probably having that kind of fear if you are feeling that way or if you're just like being triggered by that maybe you're just not feeling good about it let me just tell you let me just clear out your only worries if you're that one that person uh feeling that way your person is still thinking about you regardless of the fact that this person's focus may be on money or they might be wanting to increase their wealth or um i don't know focus on investment or something like that or on their profession does not mean that they don't they are not focusing on you they are very much still focusing on you and they're very much involved with you okay that's i just saw this never happens with me but i saw a tarot card like a character in a tarot card move that's so freaky it's like the eye of a person um okay that's so freaky um this person likes to drive i see that they really drive a lot um maybe they like to travel solo i do see that as well um because i see this person alone everywhere so i don't know what this person does but they maybe like to spend time alone or um yeah that's also something that i'm getting um if you get into a relationship with this person let me tell you how it's going to be it's going to be really promising it's going to be a bit how do i say you have to be very patient with this person because things are not going to be as how do i say like they're not going to be able to bind you you have to commit to this and it might seem that the spark is kind of fading but it's not um and you might expect a lot but it's just normal you know um i don't know how to say but you have to be really patient with this person this relationship is really promising and it's really beautiful it is so grounded and stable like nothing can shake this like if you are with this person nothing can even come close to your connection but given the fact that you have to be in something um like your relationship is going to transform after either 3 months or 3 years 
Um, but that's what I'm getting. Somebody wears a sort of like somebody has glasses, like um, sunglasses, but they are like differently shaped. Um, I don't know how to like describe, but it's not like the conventional kind. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. I feel like maybe there are other people involved. Other people who have... Um, maybe other people who probably tried to mess up the connection by... I don't know. These could be people who don't have good intentions towards you and your connection with this person. Um, don't try to involve a lot of people. They don't know anything about your connection. That's what the universe is saying. They know nothing. Um, they're just, they don't even know your person, to be very honest. Um, so if you're asking someone, just don't ask. Just do not. Um, keep it to yourself. Um, because sharing with people is just going to mess it up. And I feel like the person, that person might also do that. I'm getting a very specific message. It's a peculiar one. Somebody loves coconut oil. Or, I don't know, it looks like coconut oil. And um, they really, I don't know, maybe they use it in cooking or something. But they also use it in different ways. But somebody loves that. Either they love coconuts or coconut oil. Something about that. And something regarding, let's see. Somebody's into games. I do see that. May, like... Not like those kind of games. Uh, how do I say? Like the ones you... The digital ones. Yeah, there you go. Um, and... Somebody has a really big family. I do see that. There are lots and lots of members. Um, but this person does not live with their family. That's another thing that I'm getting over here. And let's see... What else? Okay. Um, somebody's moon sign is going to be in an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And... Somebody's name starts with N. Or G. And I'm also getting L and M. So that's for the initials. I don't usually get that, but sometimes I do. And we're going to finish off this part right here. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. That really helps me out. And I really, truly appreciate that. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, then you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. So if you're chosen the last group, um, these are the cards I have for you. I have the Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Mother of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Hermit, the Hierophant, and lastly, we have the Four of Wands for you guys. So for the Zodiac signs, I'm sensing somebody could be a Gemini. I don't know why Geminis are in literally every group. It's crazy. Um, I'm also getting Virgo. Um, then we also have, let's see. I'm also getting Aries and fixed signs mainly. Fixed signs would be Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. So that's for the zodiac signs. Now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to who is in love with you or who is falling for you. Um... Okay, now for some of you, you could have manifested this person. You could have asked a wish from the universe for this person to um, be a certain way for you or to fall in love with you. If you've done that, if you've done anything similar to it, if you've done a love spell or something, I don't know. If you've done anything in regards to this, like anything in relation to this, I feel like your wish is already fulfilled. Even if this person is away from you, even if it seems... Now, for some of you, this could be an ex. This could be someone who, if this is not an ex, if this is not someone who you have a history with, then this is someone who is not um, there where you are right now. So this person is probably 
away from you when it comes to physical distance between you and this person so definitely i do see that there's a lot of physical distance so it might seem that this person has kind of walked away from you or is kind of far away from you but this person is um I'm hearing the song, The Heart Wants What It Wants. It's by Selena Gomez, I believe. Um, and the message is, this person, I don't know whoever this is that is in love with you. Um, but I'm getting that. The reason why I got this song is um, that this person knows that they cannot have you. But the heart wants what it wants. So that's why I'm getting for you guys. Okay, that's um, that's an interesting one. And... This person, I feel like there is, um, this person might even have traveled to a different country for some of you. If it's not a different country, this is definitely a lot of distance. This is probably a different city or something. They're not in the same locality as you. That's what I'm getting. Um, for those of you asking for a wish or if you've manifested something, yes, your manifestation has come true that's a confirmation that's that's not even a confirmation i'm just telling you i'm just telling you what has already happened so i feel like you already know that your wish has come true for those of you if you don't i would just like you to know that um yeah this person is um how do i say okay um this person is trying to take this person is trying to find distractions right now in their daily life in their um uh, work life or like i don't know everywhere you know from the moment they wake up to the time they go to sleep they're just trying to find distractions or they're trying to distract themselves so they do not think about you um that's how strongly you are on their mind could be a virgo could be a word science could be cancer pisces this person is a big time introvert like they're an introvert they like to spend time with themselves but these days it's becoming a bit harder for them to do that this person could be older than you i'm getting that very tall whoever this person is um i feel i'm getting some initials t um j i'm also getting um s and then we also have l um p and m so these could be your initials their initials but this person really tall whoever they are um they're just trying to distract themselves maybe this person is even on a trip to kind of take their mind off of things but it's not really helping if i be honest um they're just getting more and more and more confused is it they're just getting more and more entangled um in their own feelings the more they're trying to resist that's why i'm getting um okay i feel like no matter who this person is how they've been in the past like for some of you i'm i don't know why am i getting that this person was probably not that good maybe this person used to be like a bad boy or like a bad girl or i don't know that's why i'm getting so if that was the case if this person was not so like if they were so like i don't know maybe this person only liked casual maybe they were never serious for anyone and they didn't want that serious commitment maybe they were commitment phobic however this person i feel is um there's someone regardless of how they've been they're different with you this time and because it's you they're different the way they've been with all the other people in the past or how their love life has been or their dating history it has nothing to do with you it's not how they're going to be with you this person has true genuine feelings and genuine intentions for you they have deep deep feelings for you this person is in love with you whoever they are um yes definitely and for a lot of you i feel like this person is going to express that um in the upcoming six months mostly like that's that's what i'm getting roughly I'm getting another song for you guys. I believe it's there for you. Um, I don't know who sang the song, but I don't even remember if the title that I'm telling is correct. Um, but I feel there is a song there for you. It's not that old. It's it's a bit recent. Um, not that new as well. But please comment down below if you know the song and who sang this one. Um, 
I think it's Martin Garrix or something. I, I, I really don't know. Um, so, again, this person feels blinded by the situation and everything. Um, this person is tired. They are thinking and thinking and they are hopeless. Um, and they are kind of really exhausted at this point. Now for you guys, I'm getting another message. This is a very interesting one. So for those of you, um, like you guys, um, I'm getting that there is someone, maybe in a friend circle or something, who has feelings for you, who's really um, into you. However, they're telling me that there is someone you have not met this person, but their love for you is so intense that it's kind of outshining everyone else in the reading. Maybe you've not met this person yet. That's what they're telling me. For a lot of you, you have not. This is the one for you. This is your future spouse or the one that you're going to be with. Um, and definitely this person and your connection is out of this world. The fact that you've not met this person, but you're still connected. So it's kind of blowing my mind away. Um, so for those of you... Um, if you're not looking for an ex and like you're not wanting to know about like there is someone you have not met yet and still this person is showing up in the reading this is crazy level connection especially if you're trying to manifest your soulmate your twin flame anyone you know um this could be the one so i do see this is probably a past life lover or something um that's why i'm getting for you guys and now so that could be a message for some of you as well number four is also significant number four and number three as well um another thing i'm getting over here is if you guys have recently broken up i feel like or if there is um okay no they're correcting me they're saying this could be any like any person that you've had a relationship with and this doesn't have to be the recent one but this is an ex of yours or this is someone you've had a history with um this person knew you quite well but things happened and it did not work out or things happened and it just kind of fell apart that's what i'm getting um and if that's if that's someone um which is striking up in your mind that's the kind of um that's the kind of a person that you can think of, then that's the one that I'm talking about over here, and that's the one they're telling me about. Um, yeah. I feel like things happened, and it did not work out at a point. Now, another thing I'm getting over here is there was not really a full-fledged relationship. Okay, there was. They're saying, no, there was. So there was a relationship, but it did not work out, and now things are going to go like this person has been feeling really lonely and things like when you moved out of their life things were not really good they did not they were not happy basically if i have to sum it up in in a word and they felt like everything was against them and they were not happy about anything um yeah so i feel like that was the darkest time of this person's life and when this thing happened so I feel that things took a turn which was unpleasant for both of you and now things are going to take a turn again. So this person might come around, might come, you know, approaching you in some way or the other. For some of you, I'm even getting there is a person at your workplace who is, who has their eye on you and this person is really interested in you but they're not taking any action. Maybe you recently joined a new um i don't know profession or something maybe you got a different job um you left the previous one if you have done that there is a person who has their eyes on you um and this person is really struck by you i'm awestruck yeah so this person really likes you whoever they are um there is a person this could be a childhood friend or something that is also having feelings for you um and let's see what else now, for some of you, I'm even getting you met someone when you were, like, you met this person in a class or something or when you were pursuing a, cro pursuing a course because I see a lot of books. Um, that's why I'm getting for some of you. Um, 
but definitely these people um like these could be definitely there are more than one um for you guys but i don't know exactly how many because we got lots and lots of messages it's going to be different for every single one of you um with the high priestess over here this person is obviously not talking but that's not going to be the case um forever we got the ace of swords here as well and then ace of swords is all about truth coming out everything is going to be in the light and then we have the two of cups so definitely you both are going to unite with the mother of cups over here which is the queen of cups essentially you need to trust your intuition you're gonna get dreams you're gonna get signs you're gonna get messages you will hear this person's name you will see this person's name or you will get songs or like anything of that sort and you need to trust all of those things um because your intuition is speaking up to you so yeah that's what we got for the third pile we're gonna finish off this pile right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already that really helps me out and that really helps my channel grow and um do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me then you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time